sounds good to me. Wait, who said that? It's almost like my mind is being controlled, but is that even possible? Your body contains over 30 trillion microorganisms which live predominantly inside your gut. They can be thought of as the little workers of our bodies, helping us digest food, synthesize key chemical compounds, and even protect us from harmful invaders. But like all workers, these microorganisms need to eat, and each of them has a different favorite food they work best on. But since they can only eat what we eat, there really isn't a way for them to choose their own diets. Or is there? Some species of microbes have the ability to directly produce or facilitate production of neurotransmitters, messenger chemicals our body uses to communicate with our brain. Neurotransmitters travel to neurons in the enteric nervous system, which relay electrical signals called action potentials. The signals then travel to the afferent fibers of the vagus nerve and are transmitted directly to the brain for interpretation. This gut-brain axis is the high-speed internet cable of the body, allowing the gut microbiota to connect with the brain in a bi-directional mode of communication and manipulation. For example, eating lots of pizza or some other highly processed food would cause fast food loving microbes to multiply and produce dopamine, rewarding your brain and conditioning it to crave processed foods in the future. If this pizza party were to continue, the population of fast food loving microbes would skyrocket, obliterating gut diversity and creating a positive feedback loop of microbe induced cravings and microbe homogeneity. Microbes would control your mind and your eating habits. <laughs> Eating a wide variety of minimally processed, high-fiber foods allows you to reverse gut dysbiosis and take control of your mind and your health. A lack of diversity in the gut is associated with myriads of health conditions, and there's still so much that needs to be discovered in order to make progress in this rapidly advancing field. A breakthrough in understanding the complexities between the micro-mind relationship would open up innumerable pathways towards improving human health and quality of life across the world.